I'm here, we're all here, because we want this moment for you. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, not even this moment. It's every moment. Big ones like saying I love you, moving in together, getting engaged, but mostly a million little ones that come in between the big moments. Falling asleep next to one another, making dinner together, spending holidays with your families, binge watching Netflix, getting a big hug when you get home from work. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible, words fail when we try to explain it. That's just the way it is with love. It's meant to be felt, not described. We actually visited my mom on Christmas Eve and she she snuck up to me and she was like, I wonder if any of my kids are gonna get engaged. And I was really doubtful. I'm like, no, I think Ryan's gonna wait. I don't think he's ready. So me and my mom had no clue it was gonna happen. But he brought, and he only got me two gifts on Christmas. He made me open one first. It was a green gift bag and a blue gift bag. And when he, he said, open the green one first. So I opened it up and it was a ring pop. Chucked it at his head. I was just so mad. I was like, are you kidding me? There's a ring pop. Where's my ring? Like, don't give me a ring pop. One of those ring suckers in it. So I gave that one to her first and got her all worked up. It was pretty funny. And then we went around the room and everybody else opened up another present. And then I gave her the other bag that actually had the ring in it. And I asked her if she would marry me, and she said yes. So I opened up the next bag, and sure as mouth, there's a ring in there. And I'm like, what is this? He's like, well, what do you think it is? I'm like, I don't know, what are you trying to say? And he's like, will you marry me? And I said yes, and that's the end. Pretty excited and ready to get to the party. Hope everything goes well. I'm so excited. I just want to run down that aisle and get it done with and go to the reception. But I'm also, my anxiety is starting to pump because people are showing up. Not everybody's ready. But I'm ready and that's all that really matters in the long run, right? <laughs> what I love about him I love that he's so sweet to me and he really he really shows that he cares in a sense and when I'm <laughs> how outgoing she is and how much fun we can have together and um, neither one of us holds holds a grudge against each other for very long and we try to make the best out of everything and he makes it spontaneous Whatever I want to do, we go, and if it's not possible, we make a plan for the next day. And he does everything in his power to make me happy and be the best man for me. And I just love it about him. Everything about him. I couldn't imagine my life being with anybody else. You were you, and I was I. We were two before our time. I was yours before I knew, and you have always been mine too.
little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with a honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty and sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to wear wings of an angel. It is not only about marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Ryan Richard Johnson promised to keep Megan as your favorite person, to laugh with her, go on adventures with her, support her through life's tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day. Do you, Megan Louise Lindau, promise to keep Ryan as your favorite person, to laugh with him, go on adventures with him, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day? By the power vested in me by the one minute minister.com, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you can now kiss your bride. Now presenting for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson.